Monday York, it's the Beat at Five. Now, here's Joe. Hey guys, welcome back to Feed at Five with your hashtag of the day, tweets you may have missed, and the show that keeps you in the know. Let's feed. First on the ticket, CNBC tweets, the Kardashians and Sears are breaking up. Maybe Sears didn't want to carry Kim's new selfie book. I highly doubt her Hollywood app fit their business model either. But the real reason is that Bruce's new clothing line is causing brand confusion. TechCrunch tweets, communication platform lawyer announces funding for apps. Can we itemize costs for in-app purchases, or is it just going to be billed by the app? And since it's written in Xcode, not a code of ethics, we can expect the usual BS. World News Tonight tweets, cop suing Starbucks after he spills coffee on him, saying, and you guessed it, I didn't know it was that hot. Uh, it's so nice to see the new generation experiencing the same lawsuits we had when we were growing up. Maybe he was feeling nostalgic. If you didn't like cops before, you know, realistically, I think he was just trying to take everyone's minds off Baltimore. Market Watch tweets, just 38% of students entering the job market say they negotiated pay with their employer. The other 62% are just waiting for McDonald's to do what Walmart did. Your hashtag of the day brought to you by Penn State York is National Nurses Week. Have a look. Sleep number tweets, sleep number believes in the benefits achieved from sleep. Okay, number one, of course sleep is good. Number two, of course, they sell mattresses. Number three, could possibly be someone's sleep number, I guess. The New York Times tweets that cheese is the rare bright spot in Russia's economy, along with vodka, chess, and the ever popular non-menthol cigarettes. Sci-fi tweets, other networks just don't get it. It's a sci-fi thing. From the people that brought you Sharknado and Sharknado 2, I guess so. Because a synonym for sci-fi now is unbelievable. All right, everyone, that's our show. Thanks for stopping on by. Until tomorrow, I'm Jones. Stay loud.